Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm doing a, a special video today. So it's kind of a haul, but it's the, the whole purpose of this haul is to promote um, independent uh, bookstore week. So here in the UK, um, currently it is running. So today is Friday. I think it ends on Sunday. So you've still got the weekend to please go out to your local independent bookstores and purchase books from them. And I personally really love independent bookstores because first of all, they can be really quirky and fun. Um, you can have wonderful com uh, conversations with the staff. Um, some bookstores are very specialized depending on uh, kind of what sort of genres or what types of books that you're looking for. And I just think it's a really nice experience going to an independent bookstore. Um, so I have got books that I bought from two independent bookstores uh, this week. One is one that's local here in Brighton and the other one is in London. So I'll start with the London one and the bookstore that I'm going to talk about, this is probably my favourite independent bookstore ever, simply because of what kind of books it's, it stocks and it's this over here is the camera picking that up it's gaze the word so they have a great new promo picture by the way so um actually the owner was telling me about this the competition they ran to find their new kind of um picture and their new logo so gaze the word as the title may may tell you is um a basically a bookstore dedicated to gay queer fiction and non-fiction so anything to do Anything on the LGBTQIA spectrum, um, gays the word kind of stocks it. And it is a very old um, bookstore, so it's been around for many years. It was also the subject um, of a film, or it was included in a film called Pride, I think, um, where uh, staff from uh, the bookstore and kind of customers from the bookstore went up to support the miners' strike um, here in, in England. Um, and it's just a really beautiful, inclusive, queer as fuck uh, place to go and buy wonderful gay books um so while i was there i of course had to purchase some books so i'll take you through the books i bought so i bought four um and this was being restrained i have to actually go back um so i'm specifically planning another trip uh, to london so i can go back because i saw so many books um that i want to buy uh i have to go back but anyway these are the four that i purchased so the first one i've got here is cool for you and this is by eileen miles eileen miles this is um, kind of a, a real classic, so this was real fun. I've been actually wanting to read this book for a very long time. So it's basically, uh, it's Eileen is queer, um, she's a queer lady, and it's basically a slice of knife novel, slightly semi-autobiographical, um, about her, a queer female, um, her life, her loves, um, you know, going through life, discovering things, finding out who she is, having relationships, meeting people. Um, and it's supposed to be fantastic. Um, I can see there's an introduction by Chris Krauss, which is really, really cool in this um, section and on this edition. Um, and it's about gender, about feminism, about class, about queerness. Um, and it sounds really, really good. Cannot wait to get to that. The next one I've got is this gorgeous little book here called A Portable Shelter. And let's just um, appreciate it's so pretty. I love I love books with flaps. Um, am I the only one? Um, it's just really, really lovely. But this is by Christy Logan. Now, Chris, Christy Logan is just, um, is kind of, I've read one book of hers and I'm in a massive fan, so I now have to read everything that she has written. So the book I read was The Gloaming, which is absolutely stunning. So this is a portable shelter and her books are, I suppose, magical realism in a way. They're kind of magical and, and beautiful and lyrical the way she writes and they have some really beautiful stories. So, um, and also queer stories. So um, this book here is about two women and they are awaiting the birth of their first child and each one of them uh, tells the, the unborn baby stories and fairy tales and it just sounds really beautiful and, and kind of magical and, and a lot like the gloaming was and she has the most gorgeous covers and she's also the most gorgeous lady look at that um but yeah this is this is just it sounds so beautiful and so delicious um that i can't wait to get to this and there again there were another two books of hers i was like okay i'm gonna have to get one first and just pace myself but yeah she's fast becoming my one of my favorite new authors and then the next one this this i was really really excited to find so this was actually under their um they have a second hand section as well in the store and this is drag king dreams by leslie feinberg now uh, you may or may or may not know stone butch blues um, by leslie feinberg uh is one of sort of the seminal um I guess queer literature books it's it's autobiographical about um the author's kind of journey uh into uh, 
being out, I guess, or into being herself into transgender. Um, some of the struggles that she had to go through in the 80s, it's really horrible, um, very homophobic um, behavior towards um, Leslie. And this kind of picks up with that left off. So this is, I believe it says post 9-11. Um, so the protagonist, you've got Max. Um, and as you can imagine, it's a drag king dream. So this is about transgender, about um, gender identity, um, about queerness. Um, it sounds really, really, really good. Uh, I, I've been dying to kind of read this after having read Stone Butch Blues. And I was really, and it's, it's really hard to get your hands on as well. Um, so when I saw this in the second hand section, I just, yeah, I, I couldn't, couldn't wait to get my grubby little paws on that. Um, and then the last one I've got here is, it's another real classic. It's Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. Um, this was also, again, a very seminal YA um, lesbian piece of fiction. Um, and it's basically about Annie and Liza. Yeah, Liza, who they meet at the Met, at the Metropolitan Music Museum of Art one day, um, and they form a bond and a friendship. And then they realize that that bond is deeper, is, is going deeper and is deeper than friendship. And um, kind of what does that mean? Um, and how do they deal with it? And how do they deal with the fact that they are falling in love? Um, apparently it's very very beautiful very well written i've never read it again it's, it's one that i've been kind of trying to get my hands on i think it was out of print for a very long time um so really really excited to read this one um and let you know what i think about it so those are all of the ones i had from from gays the word but like i said um i need to go back <laughs> because i just i love that place and whenever i go in there it's just there are so many amazing um wonderful books in there that i just i go a bit mad um and then the second independent bookstore that I visited this week was this one over here. Oh, that's the front. It is City Books. So this one is in Brighton. Um, and it is a gorgeous little independent bookstore. Um, they have a great vast array of books. They also do really great events. So oh, they did my favorite thing ever. They had a uh, the wonderful Taylor Jenkins Reid. They, they brought her to Brighton. We had an amazing event with her. So um, I went to the event. Um, it was for the launch of Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, and they put on this gorgeous event. Uh, we got things like uh, guitar plectums. I think I've got it somewhere on here. I'll, I'll get it for you. Hang on. Ah, if I can get it out. Oh, geez. This was a bad idea. Ah, got it. So there you go, Daisy Jones and the Six. So that was part of that event. Um, and like really cool wristbands and they made it like a proper event and Tara Jenkins Reid came down and she talked about the book and I got to meet her and she signed my book and I was really, 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 really excited. Um, and it was wonderful. So they do that, they put on a lot of author events. And then, um, th like I said, they're also just a wonderful, lovely independent bookstore. So um, when I went in there, I was just kind of perusing and speaking of Taylor Jenkins Reid, um, I have been trying to read all her other books um, and on the shelf this book, maybe in another life, um, has been one that I've been really really wanting to read and it just seems to be out of stock, out of print, everywhere and I walk in to City Books and guess what? There's a copy sitting on the shelf. And if I'm not mistaken, I need to have a look because I'm pretty sure that that has a bookmark in it that says signed copy. Um, so unless it's fallen out of another book, <laughs> it hasn't. So there you go. It's a signed copy. Um, so that is amazing. Uh, so now two of my books. I, I didn't get I didn't get Evelyn Hugo signed, unfortunately, but Days of the Six and this one is signed. Maybe, in, uh, you can tell, I'm a bit of a Ted Jenkins Reid fan, but maybe in another life um, has the kind of premise that I love. So, uh, have you seen the movie Sleep Sliding Doors? Um, it's about this thing of if you do one, if you made one decision in your life, your life would go one way, and then if you made a different decision, it would go another way. Um, and then what this book does is um, you've got the protagonist um, Hannah, who is out uh, one night with her friend, and she meets an old ex-boyfriend, I think. And then there's this decision at the end of the night. He asks her to go home with him, and then her friend says, "No, come, come back home with me." And it's this kind of thing where how would your life change um, depending on who you said yes to or who you went with? Um, and it's that kind of sliding doors thing about, you know, your life would be like this or your life would be like this. So I love the premise of that. I've really been dying to read this one. Um, so I was really excited when I got my hands on it and even more excited when I realized that it was signed. Um, and then City Books also do this awesome thing as a thank you for actually buying a book during a national book 
oh, during, no, it doesn't say, it's just national book tokens, but for buying a book during National in, um, Independent Book Week, um, you get a token. So you have to activate this, but you get a five pound token as well with any purchase. So that is very, very cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so please go out, support your independent bookstores. If you love gay literature, go to gay is the word. If you're anywhere near London, if you're anywhere in Brighton, check out City Books. They are wonderful. They're amazing. Um, and yeah, and thank you for listening to me. Uh, let me know if you've bought anything for independent bookstores and let me know if there's any great independent bookstores in your area. Um, and I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.